So, burn stuff on total reformis, spanning the reins of Apulodano. Horas wrote in his roots. The river was already a link between the Apennines and the Adriatic Sea, in the Bronze Age connecting also rural villages like Bardulas, Canne, Canusium and Banusium. Since the mid 19th century, from an agronomic point of view, it has become the main area of manufacture of products with the committed growth of vineyards and olive groves. Barletta, with the distillery, the port and the railway station, is also an important reference logistics point for the export. Nowadays there are natural pastures, crops, vineyards, olive groves, orchards, as well as many small businesses that are springing up like fungiculture and agriculture. DOP products, as La Bella Girignola and Rosso di Canosa, Cacciacavallo Silano, are produced by many of the downstream activities. These products characterize an important area for national pride and status symbol of the region. All the area crossed by the river presents heterogeneous natural elements because, even if there is a poor presence of residual forests, edge or rose, a sufficient presence of them is there to ensure contiguity of the ecotones of the geographical area of Anto. The agroecosystem, even without a substantial presence of elements with natural characteristics, maintains a modest destiny of anthropogenic pressure elements. The agroecosystem is presented sufficiently diversified and complex. Obviously, the use of the area involves degradation. In fact, the area is subject to many risks such as pollution of the river water for residential and industrial waste for large amounts of fertilizer used in soil that cover the area. The use of the riverside areas are often intensively and illegally cultivated, especially in the final stretch because of the past uh, destruction of the riparian groups. In addition, the mouth of the river is beside by the seventh ramp to the north and south for construction, with tourist and residential purpose. There is the phenomenon of ripe erosion along the river, which is the witness of the different phases of deepening erosion exerted by the action river. PPTR, a specific format for the Ofanto Valley with the intent to rehabilitate the area, was created to solve these problems. The PPTR targets are to preserve the balance of the hydrological basins, trying to mitigate the danger from flooding so as to run at low environmental impact. So it wants to enhance the natural condition of coastal wetlands, preventing also desertification. Thanks to a project called the Multifunctional Old Servara, it aims to rehabilitate the extension and naturalness of our river corridors, as well as it aims to improve the ecological quality of the area, such as the construction of the ecological network of biodiversity. There is also a development association created by local mayors and provincial administrators, born with the name Patto Valdofanto. An association founded in 2009, renovated and scheduled for 2020, to give an asset value to multifunctional agriculture, to rehabilitate from an environmental point of view, and to promote tourism River Park Ofanto, to extend the membership of the river contract provided by PPTR of Puglia, to apply it to the entire basin, so as to overcome the fragmented development that has so far characterized the area. The Ofanto is a resource, as much for its valley as for the entire region, but its importance will remain irrelevant without adequate consolidation plan.